you know that inner ear contain uh, three structures the vestibule cochlea and the semicircular canal so today uh, we can discuss on vestibule So the uh, development of the inner ear starts by third week of uh, intrauterine life and it is complete by 16 to 25 uh, weeks. That is why the infections of the mother in first trimester will cause deformities or developmental abnormalities of the inner ear. And uh, another thing is that the development of the inner ear is not depend on that of the external ear or the middle ear. So, in a uh, apparently normal middle ear and uh, uh, external ear, uh, child can have a sensory neural hearing loss and the, op the opposite also occurs. That is, if the um, uh, inner ear will be normal, but there will be congenital abnormalities of the external or the middle ear. And uh, the membranous labyrinth uh, developed from the cranial ectoderm, that is autocyst, and the surrounding mesenchyme condenses to form a cartilage, and this cartilage ossifies from 14 centers, forming the bony labyrinth. So, the development starts from third week of intrauterine life. The infections or uh, diseases of the uh, first in the first trimester of pregnancy can cause. Um, inner ear abnormalities and remember uh, the labyrinth is the first special sense organ to differentiate in the body this can be asked as MCQs the first special sense organ to differentiate in the body is labyrinth vestibule is a central chamber and it can be combined to uh, an ovoid in shape oval ovoid means egg shape of an egg the, this measures around uh, 5 millimeters in length, a length of uh, 5 millimeters and uh, height to, again the height is also 5 millimeter and a depth of 3 millimeters. Okay. And uh, this part. This much is the uh, <coughs> vestibule. So, uh, ovoid or an egg, uh, shape of an egg. And in the anterior part, here, you can have a uh, depression and that is the andro inferiorly. Here comes your uh, sac spherical vessels. Spherical versus andro inferiorly comes the uh, spherical versus and posto superiorly above and posterior comes the um, elliptical versus almost here is the elliptical versus here elliptical versus. Elliptical recess houses macula of utricle. Spherical recess houses the macula of saccule and uh, elliptical recess houses the macula of uh, utricle. And in between these two, there is a ridge of bone called the vestibular crest. This is your crest of bone called the vestibular crest. And at the lower part, this crest divides into two and it uh, houses cochlear recess. Cochlear recess. So, the vestibular crest is a uh, ridge of bone. It comes, divides into two 
and uh, it houses a cochlear recess. And below the uh, elliptical recess, there is an opening of vestibular aqueduct. Vestibular aqueduct. This is on the uh, medial wall looking from lateral wall. What is in the lateral wall? In the lateral wall there is only one thing. In the lateral wall there is the oval window. Only the oval window. And this oval window is closed in life by the foot plate of stasis. By the foot plate of stasis and the annular ligament. Okay. So, uh, laterally comes the medial wall of the middle ear and the lateral wall of the vestibule there is an oval window which is closed in life by the foot plate of stasis and the surrounding annular ligament. And this is the medial wall seen from laterally. We are taking out the uh, lateral wall and looking inside. So, anterior inferiorly you can see the uh, spherical recess and the bone in this part is perforated with uh, uh, cribriform type. That is there are small uh, porous or small small uh, small small holes are there. Cribriform means uh, cribriform uh, it means aripabole. Okay. So through this comes the inferior vestibular nerve. So this is andro inferiorly so comes the inferior vestibular nerve. Inferior vestibular nerve. Okay. And through the cochlear recess comes the here comes your scalar uh, scalar vestibule of the cochlea. So th through this comes the cochlea now uh, which supply go to the most basal turn of cochlea. And in the uh, elliptical recess that there is also a cribrose area, the nerve fibers to the sensory organs of this uh, macula of the utricle and the uh, semicircular canal comes through this. Here comes your semicircular canal. Here will be the superior and the posterior wall of the uh, utricle, uh, posterior wall of the uh, vestibule has five opening. In the elliptical recess, there is a cribrose area and that part you have to remember that it is a Mike's dot. Mike's dot. You have to remember that. Mike's dot. Mike dot. What is that? Mike's dot. It is macula cribrosa superior. That is superior. And through this comes the superior vestibular nerve. And this nerve supplies the uh, sensory organ of the utricle as well as the superior and the lateral semicircular canal. And this Mike's dot is seen in the extreme lateral aspect of the internal acoustic meatus. Here, this is on the extreme lateral aspect of the internal acoustic meatus and this is a landmark for trans labyrinthine surgery. Okay. So, my dot is a um, correspond to the macula cribrosa superior and this is seen on the extreme lateral aspect of the internal acoustic meatus and that is a landmark for the Translabyrinthine surgeries. Till now we were talking about the vestibule, the central chamber of bony labyrinth. Here, this is on the lateral wall, that is the uh, oval window, 
with the uh, stepidia fruit plate and this is on the inside of the medial wall. This is inside the vestibule, that is the membranous labyrinth. Now we can look on that. First comes your spherical recess and it houses the saccule. So inside this comes your so what is uh, inside the spherical recess? What is it? It is a saccule. All are S. Okay. Saccule. Here comes your saccule. Okay. Over this is only a bone. And over that comes this saccule. So all in the anterior wall are S. Saccule. Inside the spherical recess and it communicate with the scalar vestibule and it really uh, opening the of the um, vestibule. Then uh, this one, what is comes the scalar vestibule and through the scalar media, what comes from here comes your cochlear duct. Cochlear duct comes and joins here. Okay, and here is your uh, cochlear duct. So, the cochlear duct and the saccule joins together with the ductus reunions. So, this part is called the ductus reunions. It is the ductus reunions. Okay, ductus reunions. Reuniting, two ducts are uniting. So, Ductus reunions. Okay. Spherical recess um, lodges the macula of saccule and it is continuous with the uh, cochlear duct calling the ductus reunions. And then this saccule is small, or a S saccule, small, spherical recess, um, and uh, this elliptical recess um, lodges the larger one utricle. This will be a utricle. Okay. It lodges the utricle. And this utricle has a uh, connection with the semicircular ducts also. So this connects with the semicircular duct here. Then it goes here, here, here and here. So there are five openings for the semicircular ducts. This is your utricle. Okay. And this utricle connects with the saccule. Utericulo saccular duct. It's Y shaped actually. Okay. This is the utriculo saccular duct. It's very easy to remember. Sac utricle and saccular. So utricular, saccular duct. And from this, it is continuing. This is the vestibular aqueduct, right? So it is, this vestibular aqueduct will pass through the temporal bone and will go to the posterior cranial fossa and end outside the dura. So this will continue as the endolymphatic duct. And go through the temporal bone and it will form the endolymphatic sac. So endolymphatic duct and this is the endolymphatic sac. Alright? So this is the membranous labyrinth of uh, the part of the vestibule. And sac will communicate with the cochlear duct through a ductus uh, reunions and utricular saccular duct. With the, uh, this utricle and saccule connect with the utricular saccular duct and it is passes through the 
uh, opening of the vestibular aqueduct as an endolymphatic duct and the uh, ending in the endolymphatic sac. And the utricle also has communication with the semicircular ducts. Okay. Sense organs of the vestibule are called macula. Macula of the saccule is lying in the here it is in the anterior wall. Here comes the macula of the okay. So, okay. This is the macula of the macula of the saccule. It is lying in the anterior wall and the macula of the utricle is in the lateral wall at the lower part. Here. This wall, lateral wall. And these two are the are at right angles. See, these two are at right angles. Vestibule, the central, central chamber, laterally, the oval window and medially, they are the uh, uh, spherical recess. Vestib uh, vestibular crest, cochlear recess, then uh, elliptical recess and the vestibular aqueduct, opening of vestibular aqueduct. And the spherical recess houses the saccule, which communicate with the utricle using the uh, utricular saccular duct. And continuing, this is Y shaped and it is continuing through the vestibular aqueduct as endolymphatic duct and ending in endolymphatic sac. And this uh, saccule connected to the uh, cochlear duct with the ductus reunions. And uh, this part is filled with what? Endolymph. And remember the Mike's dots also, which is a surgical landmark for in translabyrinthine surgeries.